In this video, I'm gonna be going over the top five best data analytics related certifications and certificates. These are gonna be designed to help you get a job as a data analyst or a related career such as business analyst, market analyst, et cetera. And most importantly, they are gonna help you learn the skill of data analytics. And this is a skill that's becoming more and more valuable and in demand on the market. So with that being said, gently tap the like button and let's jump into it right away with number one on the list, which is going to be the Google Data Analytics Professional Certificate from Coursera. Now, one thing I'm going to mention here is the technical difference between a certificate and a certification is that with a certification, you actually have to take a test in order to get certified. Whereas with a certificate, you technically don't have to take a test and you can just complete some courses and then you get the certificate. So certificates, generally speaking, are easier to get. And the Google Data Analytics Certificate is one of the best bangs for the buck that you could do, not only when it comes to the price, but also how fast you can finish it and the incredible value that it gives you. So I've actually done an entire video on this certificate where I went over pretty much all of it and why it's so amazing. But this is actually one of the best certificates offered on Coursera and one of Google's best certificates as well. And you can see that over 2.2 million people have taken this and it has a 4.8 star rating, which is absolutely absurd. And on top of that, many people talk about this on forums such as Reddit or different review sites and say incredibly good things about it. And by the way, all the certificates and certifications in this video will be linked in the description and the pinned comment below. So you can click down there to check them out. Now you'll learn a lot about spreadsheets, data analysis, SQL, data visualization and data cleaning. Now this is an eight course series and they say that it'll take you six months if you study 10 hours a week, but all the reports typically say they've been able to finish it in usually one to two months, maybe three months max. And you can do it on a flexible schedule so you can take it anytime you want. There's also 483,000 plus US job openings in data analytics and 75% of certificate graduates report positive career outcomes. And a lot of businesses actually partner with Coursera and have their employees go through these certificates. And the reason for that is because these are things that are actually in demand. These are skill sets the companies actually need, not like the skills that colleges teach you where it's either not practical or it is practical, but it was practical 20 years ago. These are the skills that companies are looking for right now. And that's the whole reason why Coursera and Google and all these different companies started creating these certificates in the first place. This is a beginner level certificate. You don't have to have any knowledge and they can take you all the way from beginner to very close to being able to actually land a job. Now, chances are you're also going to have to supplement your Coursera certificate with some additional knowledge and a portfolio, right? You want to actually do some projects and create a portfolio for yourself, but they do help a lot. They give you a resume review. They give you interview prep. They give you career support and they give you access to an employer consortium where you can get hired by companies like Google, Salesforce, Adobe, T-Mobile, and Wells Fargo. And on top of that, once you get the certificate, you can put it on your resume. You can also put it on your LinkedIn profile and companies can actually discover you through the certificate. This is something that many people have actually reported to me on my channel and in my Discord. That's right, recruiters and hiring managers will actually search by the certificate. So make sure you put it in your education section on LinkedIn, as well as posting about it on LinkedIn as well. So yeah, really good one, absolutely love it. Another really good one also by Coursera is the IBM Data Analyst Professional Certificate. This one's been taken by about 230, 240,000 people, and it has a 4.7 star rating. So also very excellent considering the amount of people that have taken it. It costs about the same as the Google Data Analyst analytics professional certificate. You can do it for $49 a month. Also, there's a seven day free trial. Check out the link down in the description and the pinned comment below. And FYI guys, I am affiliated with Coursera. So if you do end up buying, uh, I will get a small percentage of the sale. However, if you want to, you can just, you know, look it up on Google as well. You don't have to use my link, but yeah, also excellent. Also covers some things that the um, Google data analytics certificate doesn't. For instance, it focuses less on R and more on SQL and it goes over more Python program. So you definitely wouldn't be wasting your time if you decided to take both of them. You can also finish this one relatively quickly. They say four months at 10 hours a week, very likely one to two months max, maybe even a few weeks if you go fast. And yeah, it's just another excellent one and one you should look into for sure. The next is gonna be the Microsoft Power BI Data Analyst Professional Certificate. And this one is gonna help you launch your career as a Power BI analyst. And this is basically a collection of different software apps and connectors that work together to turn unrelated uh, disorganized data into something you can actually take action on. And Power BI stands for Power Business Intelligence. Now this one, 142,000 people have already enrolled and it has a 4.6 star rating, which is still really, really good. Now they say it takes five months to finish this, realistically, probably one to two months. And with this one, you'd be aiming a little bit more for a job in business intelligence 
intelligence rather than data analytics, but it still is data analytics related. And business intelligence jobs still pay around $76,000 a year in the United States. And there's still 110,000 plus business intelligence related job openings in the US too. So you basically get almost all the same perks that you get with the other certificates, but you get to learn different skill sets. So this one, for instance, focuses on data analysis, Microsoft Excel, SQL, Power BI, and Power Query. Now, there's a lot of companies out there that use the Microsoft suite, meaning they use all kinds of different Microsoft related products. And if you're applying to a company like that, this certificate is going to look really, really good on your resume. So that could be a key piece of intel that you could look up on the internet or ask people when you're thinking about applying for jobs. Next is going to be the CompTIA Data Plus certification. Now, CompTIA has kind of been the gold standard when it comes to technology related certifications for a while. Different people in the industry will have different opinions on CompTIA. Some people think that they used to be really good, but they're no longer that good. And it's kind of just almost like a new version of a college degree. Just they annoyingly make you get them and you're not really learning all that much and it's not really updated information. But I think it does vary from certificate to certificate. With that being said, this one does have pretty good ratings online because CompT overall is still a respected leader in IT related certifications. And although other certificates and certifications might be just as good, many companies do respect the CompTIA certification. And so it does have a brand name that comes along with it. And basically you go through a curriculum, they'll train you, and then you have to take a test at the end. When you pass the test, you get your certification. Now the test itself is 90 minutes long and CompTIA recommends 18 to 24 months of training in order to land a job like this. But again, realistically, you can finish this much, much faster. Typically these certs will take you anywhere from a few weeks to a few months. And the skills you're gonna learn with this one are data concept and environments, data mining, data analysis, visualization, and data governance, quality, and controls. The certification itself typically lasts about three years, although you don't necessarily have to renew it. Once you've got it, you're pretty much good to go. And you can take this at a beginner level. So you don't actually have to have any knowledge in order to start this one. So yeah, this one's a pretty good one. But the next one we're gonna be doing is going back to Coursera because Coursera is awesome. And that is going to be the AWS data analytics and databases on AWS. And that of course is Amazon Web Services owned by Amazon. And that's basically a cloud technology company within Amazon. And many, many companies out there actually do use the Amazon suite of products. AWS is one of the most popular ones. And so knowing this is going to set you apart. So this one is relatively new, hasn't been out for very long, but it's gonna teach you extraction, transformation, and loading, data analysis, database, data architecture, and data warehouse. And if you're excited about getting into the IT or data analytics industry, these certificates can be absolute game changers. For instance, if data analytics isn't something that interests you, you could also try out the new Microsoft IT Support Specialist Professional Certificate because it's an absolute game changer. And you can gain hands-on industry recognized credentials and experience to jumpstart your career. And you can go ahead and check out the link to that in the description below as well. So yeah, this one's good. Lots of other choices on Coursera as well. One thing I really love about Coursera is it allows you to kind of dip your toe into a bunch of different careers because the information they're teaching you is the actual information that you need to do the job. It's not some theoretical, hypothetical stuff that's not practical and you're never gonna actually use it like colleges teach all the time. And it's also not stuff that was practical, but it was practical five, 10 or 20 years ago like colleges teach all the time too. So it's stuff that you're actually gonna need to know now. And so it's gonna be a pretty accurate representation of what you're gonna be doing on a day-to-day -day basis, which means you can basically just dip your toe into a bunch of different careers and see which one you actually enjoy, which I think is awesome. So yeah, Coursera has a seven day free trial, absolutely nothing to lose. Might as well check it out. Link in the description and the pinned comment below and check out this Google certificate tier list that I did where I rank some of the best Google certificates. You can check that out by clicking right here.